All right, we're gonna talk really quickly about inverter, motor, and drive testing. So what I've got here is an RC car with a DC battery and a three-phase motor inside of it. So in this car, we've got inverters, converters, power rails, a bunch of electronics that are powering this three-phase motor. I'm gonna control it with a 2.4 gigahertz um, controller here. And uh, first, let's just see the car rolling. So that's got a lot of torque to it, right? So the three phase is being used so that we can deliver a consistent torque to those wheels and the mechanicals. And in the design of a, uh, an RC car like this, or maybe it's an industrial motor, a uh, washer, a dryer, something inside of our electronic vehicles and hybrid vehicles, three phase power delivery and quality is incredibly important. Doing the testing sometimes can be really hard because you need lots of scope inputs. Here we have three differential connections. So you can see at the back of the car, we've made this little test setup with the red and the black differential probes. And then we also have some Rogowski coils to measure the current on three phases. So we have phase A, phase B, and phase C. I'm gonna get the scope in running mode and give you a little intro to what's on the screen. On the left is a phaser diagram where we can see in red, the phase A, B, phase B, blue, <laughs> phase B, and in yellow is phase C, as well as the DQ0 transform. So that purple circle is the resultant of the DQ0 transform from my measurements on the right half. The top section in yellow, orange, and red is our three voltage signals overlaid on top of each other. We can zoom in and see that right here. The next is our three current phases, A, B, and C. Again, those Rogowski coils. Uh, and then we have the D, the Q, and the DQ0 math being shown below. Let's run. Let's run this uh, RC car now while the scope is uh, ready to trigger. You can see the acquisition being made here live and uh, the DQ0 updating immediately. And you can see the circle's nice and, and round, meaning that we've got ideal efficiency when we reach steady state. But when we look at startup, we get a whole bunch of issues with how the, uh, the three-phase power is coming on board from that battery. So this would now enable us to, to zoom in to specific areas and correlate with, uh, with what is going on in other parts of the system. Maybe we're having an intermittent connection coming from this remote, Maybe we're having issues with our inverters or our converters. And with this scope, we can get down and we can debug each of the small little subcomponents in the system. Uh, so we, we also have the ability to do mechanical measurements on torque and on speed. So we can correlate the, the power coming from the battery and how that's actually turned into mechanical energy uh, and optimized for losses. So that's just a quick overview of our inverter, motor, and drive analyzer uh, software. Uh, this is a solution that works on our 5 Series BMSO and our 6 Series BMSO. Thanks.